Well, we promised you we would do a show this week with Dr. David Klein of the Stages of Life Institute on holiday hazards. There have been movies made about it. There have been a lot of comedies made about it. But it's serious stuff. We do some of the dumbest things in an observation of a great holiday, a meaningful holiday. But we do as we often do in our lives. We try to put a human element into it. So there's a lot of things we're doing that can wind up putting us in peril when it comes to the holidays, and especially this holiday, because there's so many things that we can do that we're just not up to physically or mentally, and maybe we could do them when we were kids, Doc, but you can't do them now. You don't see me on top of a ladder anymore. It was close. It was close. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you still can't find anybody to put those lights up, can you? No, it's terrible. All right. Well, here, here's the deal, okay? There are many, many ways that we can check out prematurely from life. Okay, and one of which is through good intentions. And the holidays are amongst the most interesting of those good intentions. Whether it's from burning down the house with a, with a, with a stove, happens all the time. Every year, somebody is out there burning their kitchen down, burning their house down, okay, as a result of a kitchen fire. So how many folks are out there right now thinking about, gee, we're going we're gonna to cook a big ham this, this year. We're going to deep fat fry one. Oh, that's going to end well. Okay, you spill over one of those things and it catches, you're done. Okay, the oven is my favorite one. Okay, so we have a nice gas range. You know, they've never been known to blow up, but they have <laughs> been known to burn your house down. So the first thing that you need to do this season is check your fire extinguishers for God's sake. So how many do you have in your house? Do you have any? How old are they? They're on sale at Costco. Go out there, buy a dozen of them. They should be near each exit. There should be one near your Christmas tree. We'll get to that in a second. Okay? And they should be in your kitchen in at least two locations. One near the stove and one under the sink. Because if you need to get out of the kitchen because of a fire, you're going to want one near the exit as well. Mm -hmm. So in any event, fire is a big hazard, whether it's from your stove or from those trees. Now let's figure this one out. Okay, those that have artificial trees, you think you're safe, do you? We'll get to that in a second. But if you, if you go natural or au natural, okay, as it might be, then these trees are, are sitting in a basin with water. It keeps, them from, it keeps them safer after all, right? Until you look at the electrical outlets. Okay, so now you've got one of those bars with 15 different plugs sitting at the base of the tree. Okay, water and, and the electrical receptacles do not do well together <laughs> so you look at it and you go well gee i'm going to separate it just exactly how much do you think you can separate it and now you got a dog or a grandkid or some other peril floating around underneath the tree a cat they're, they're the best okay cats oh they just love being destructive little little vectors okay so fire we need to be careful with what we're doing we need to be careful with electricity what about those of you that think you're acrobats? Okay, so you're going to go climbing to the top of the tree to put the little ornament on because, after all, it's a family tradition. Gee, mom, somebody, grandma, whoever, always went to the top of the tree to put the little creature on top, whether it's a star or whatever. And every year, we're putting hips back together, shoulders back mm. together, or burying people from falling off their ladders. So you have to be very, very careful about the fact that you're a not as old as you're not as young as you used to be right you're not as agile as you ever were and you're not nearly as good as you remember yourself being because you weren't that good then either actually so you can't go shimming up a ladder and expect good things to necessarily happen same thing is true with putting lights on your house gee it's not like it was in the old days where we used to put this up and that up well a it's not the old days anymore okay B, there are better and smarter ways to do these things. And C, hire somebody else that's insured to come in and do this stuff for you. The last thing you want to do is bring somebody in that's uninsured who falls off your house. Okay, Ooh. so what other hazards do we look at? Okay, so we're looking at physical hazards falling, fire hazards with tree, but now we're going to look at things like food hazards. And we've beaten this one to death in the past, but it's going to happen again. So what do we do with our food? Well, all season long, we are leaving food out because who knows who might come by? Who knows what missing family member is going to appear from the dead? Whatever it happens to be, we're leaving food out too long. 
It's not being refrigerated. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kill these people with kindness. When something has um, mayonnaise in it, you have to keep these things cold. Okay? Food should be hot food should be kept hot. Cold food should be kept cold. And every time somebody sticks an instrument into it, whether it's a spoon, fork, or a prong, or fingers for the kids, okay, it introduces the likelihood of contamination. Mm -hmm. So if you end up with a bacterial issue, it's almost always staff. Where do you get that from? It's going to be from somebody who didn't wash their hands, who just handled the food uh, an hour or two ahead of you. And in 12 to 24 mm -hmm. hours, you too will be worshiping the porcelain God. All right. There's so many things that can go wrong. And I do want to go back to electricity for a minute because I noticed in one of the trees I'm putting together for Chateau Newton that <laughs> it's a it's one of these one of these fake trees. But Doc, I couldn't believe it. Every bit of that tree underneath that plastic, which is the the evergreen like thing, the the stems are actually all metal. Oh, yeah. Exposed metal. Oh, it's wonderful. So if you've got a little string of lights you've been using for 10 years, and most of us keep those around, we, we're going to have an electrocution on our hands. <laughs> oh, no, but, but you, you should get some comfort. In fact, a tremendous amount of comfort in knowing that every bit of it was made in China. That really Highest helps. Highest quality. Okay? <laughs> so you can Truly bet, helps. You can absolutely bet okay that it's never going to happen well the fact is is that you can't buy garbage okay and expect good things to happen from it so this is what's going on what about candles okay you know oh, i love yeah. candles they're marvelous things okay now what's the difference between a good candle and a bad candle the cost of your house okay <laughs> a good candle doesn't pour off a bunch of wax okay a good beeswax candle won't do that it'll burn You'll see very little drip, okay? But a cheap candle, and most of them are, will pour wax all over everything. Now, you would think, well, gee, that wax can't really catch fire, can it? It gets hot enough, and it will. It will cause a house fire. More dorm fires are started from, from candles than just about anything else. Why? Because we give our, our college kids way too much money, okay? So they mm -hmm. buy cheap candles instead of good ones. Okay, so candles will do it. Look, it's, it's awful. You know, this, this, is, this is going to be the time of year when we're either going to be remembered for being very, very generous or very stupid. What about I-4? What about Route 50? What about the other interstates? Well, you know, I was going to mention <laughs> that this time of year, you, you have company parties. Oh, yeah. And a company party is you're going to go and you're going to have some drinks. One is you'll probably say the wrong thing to the boss. Oh, that's good. Two is you'll probably say something really wrong to the secretary. But number three is unless you've got a designated driver, you better have an Uber membership because one, you're going to get pulled over and you'll never have a license for years, ten grand down the drain, or two, you're going to hit somebody, and Worse then yet. everybody's in trouble. Yeah. Okay. So how about this? How about this being a new rule? If you're with the company over three years. You get a designated driver of somebody that's just been in the business for one to two years. They well, can't like drink it. and they drive you home. Junior partner driver. There you go. It all should Either work. that or Uber, one of the two. Driving is a. Or mirrors. I got to be politically mirrors? correct here. Yeah, they're okay. They're nice. uh, Uber, I don't know. The thing I like about Uber is you really never know who you're going to get to drive. You have right? no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 the, that's the pleasant part about it. So, Uber, got to love them. <clears throat> so, in any event, so driving. The parties, okay? Now, what, what, what else do we have to worry about with gatherings these days? Okay, well, let's Take think gun. about San Bernardino. Okay, that was a Christmas party, my friends. Okay, so a gathering is, oh, let's just say a killing field for certain individuals. So you got to be careful. If you have crazy employees, and we none of us do, uh. okay, I would, be, I would keep an eye on the exit personally. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, so we'll have our company party heading up here pretty soon. When we do, I'll be looking at the exit because it seems like most of my employees are crazy anyway. So what else? Okay, what other kinds of hazards can we get into with the holidays? Okay, one of my favorite ones, the mistletoe ha uh, hazard. Uh oh. Okay, so what? Wh how much trouble can that get you into? Well, it can lose your girlfriend or wife. It can wife lose your girlfriend fast. or wife. So in any event, be safe. <laughs> eat safely. Drink responsibly. Amen. Get yourself those fire extinguishers. Look around and pretend for a moment that you're the fire inspector. 
you know, it wouldn't be a half bad idea to invite one of these guys into the house and say, okay, where are my problems? You know, when I lived in Virginia, I called the police. I asked them to come to my house and tell me where my vulnerabilities were in terms of security. Excellent idea. Not a bad idea at all. It's something I would encourage people to consider anyway because security is everybody's business. And make sure that you're up to snuff with all your nutraceuticals and you even over-imbibe in those because you're going into a a taxing time of year. No sleep, lots of celebration, lots of bad foods things that aren't good for you. So you need your nutraceuticals, Robin. Yes. Yes. Do stock up on them and take them. And you can get them at the office. And we are located in Longwood at 1917 Booth Circle. The health store is open during office hours. That's Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. You can also get them online at stagesoflife.net. We will ship them to you. You can give us a call if you uh, aren't really great on the web, 407-679-3337. And you can also um, look us up on Facebook at Stages of Life Medical Institute. Well, you'll, you'll find all sorts of information. Very good. Thank you all so much. It's been a great week, and we'll catch you again on Monday. But right now, let's roll on with the Resource Hour. Roll on with the Resource Hour.